It's Saturday morning, the 9th of August. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Here's a look at the tropics, and let's start off by talking about the elephant in the room here. It's this tropical wave coming in off of the west coast of Africa, and a lot of the long-range guidance continuing to indicate this developing into something well, significant. So let's look at the GFS uh, first off. And this is the global forecasting system, the American model. And a lot of people have been sharing this on socials. I get it. It, it. it looks worrisome at first. But the thing is, the ECMWF, the CMC, the NAVGEM, a lot of our models are also continuing to agree that there is going to be something out here east of Florida by um, the 18th, 19th, or into the 20th. So we're still looking of about a week out here. This showing the 19th right here basically right over the Bahamas. That would be indicating a pressure of about 940 millibars, which would be about a Cat 3 hurricane. Now, with that said, let's compare this up with the ECMWF. So we got the GFS and the European right on top of each other. And as forecasters, you really want to do this. You want to look at different types of models. And the issue with this is that both models, GFS and European, some of our big players here in uh, global forecasting, show these pretty much a storm in the exact same spot, very similar intensity. So as far as increasing confidence is concerned, it, it really is there with the models. This is your ensembles all clustered around that same area as well. So with that said, I think every meteorologist is looking at this right now going, yeah, there's probably going to be a storm out there, but there still is questions about where exactly and how strong. And a lot of these factors come into play, including the Bermuda High, which is located well towards the east of Bermuda right now. And the further east it goes, the, the better situation we have here by that point, because what we're going to be seeing is this recurve further towards the east. But if that Bermuda High builds in even just a little bit, that would push it further towards the west in that long range extended outlook. Taking a look at the Saharan dust too, there's plenty of it out here, but you can kind of see the swirl right in here. See that? It does look like the guidance is trying to pick up on a pocket of relatively moisture embedded within the overall Saharan dust. Now, if that dust blows a little bit stronger and you get a lot of that drier mixed in there, that would hinder significant development as this moves across the Atlantic. At the same time, sea surface temperatures are exceptionally warm across the Caribbean into the mid to high 80s. Some spots, I mean, look at that, up near 90 degrees. So there is very warm sea surface temperatures that would allow for intensification. So my main takeaway at this time is not saying run out and buy milk and bread, okay? But it is August. It is tropical season. NHC is already monitoring this for potential for development over the course of the upcoming week. I would say continue to check back in. I mean, you can't get around it, especially as we go ahead into August. We typically get storms out here. So, um, yeah, it, 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 but at least at this time, there's increasing confidence something's going to be there. Also, at this time, we're also watching, well, this was a low risk of development moving off towards the north and east. You have this trough extending back across the first coast, bringing scattered showers all across our area in a very tropical atmosphere. It's not a hurricane, but there's going to be on and off rainfall all weekend across northern Florida and southeastern areas of Georgia as moisture pumps in with this big elongated trough, which, you know, take a look at the rainfall accumulation. You can see just this broad circulation on the west coast of Florida around Tampa. You got that moisture coming in and outshore out of the Gulf. And on the east coast around Jacksonville and out towards Savannah, you got it coming in off of the Gulf Stream and the, the Atlantic. So there's going to be spots here about five to six inches total rainfall. So we don't need a hurricane to have some pretty decent precipitation out here with this very moist tropical rich environment in play so yeah it's august it's tropical season and it's that time of year where it's no surprise if anything does decide to develop so i'm meteorologist robert spetto is keeping you posted at firstcoastnews.com and check out hurricane central for some of our latest information